Neuroscience right now is in a very exciting time because um, many of us have the feeling that the, break, the big breakthrough is just about to, to occur. There's been a slew of new techniques coming into neuroscience from other fields, particularly from the physical sciences, from physics, from chemistry, from engineering. And these te techniques have revolutionized the type of data that we have on brain circuits. So we've been able for the first time to see how large groups of neurons work together and interact. We can see how the little synapses that form the basis of the entire connectivity of the brain, we can see them in, in, in live animals and we can watch them change in, our, in front of our eyes while the animal is uh, performing uh, some behavioral task. So these type of data are uh, it's like opening the floodgates. The students ask me, what does it take to be a good scientist? Um, I often compare this to climbing mountain. I love uh, mountaineering in the sense that scientists always uh, first have to have a very lovely goal, the problem they want to understand, how the brain works, how cells uh, communicate, uh, something that's apparently impossible. Um, and this would be equivalent of uh, looking at the top of Mount Everest. I so said, how the hell am I ever going to get there? So then you assemble a team of devoted people, then um, you obtain the best equipment that you can, you create a route map, and then you start by taking small steps. They have to be very secure. Every step you, you take, every, every assumption you make in your work has to be true. We're in a position where we can go and answer these uh, century-long questions that have been uh, out there. No? Uh, a very simple question, is the connectivity of the brain specific or is every neuron connected to everyone else? So I think once we have the answer to some of these basic questions, uh, it's going to be a very quick progress towards a general theory of, of brain function. I'm very optimistic, uh, and I think uh, that's also why, why I decided to leave medicine and jump into neuroscience and leave my uh, country and come over to the U.S. and uh, get on with the program here.